In this video, we can discuss about pharmacology of gonadotropins like FSH and LH, which are hormones secreted from anterior pituitary glands. So, as we know, hormones are specific biological molecules which are secreted by different endocrine glands and which are secreted and transported through the blood and which will act at the different site of action. So gonadotropin like follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormones are secreted from the anterior pituitary glands of our body. So gonadotropes which are the basophilic cells of the anterior pituitary cell will secrete two type of gonadotropins, follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Together this it is known as gonadotropin which is written as GNS in short. So both these are glycoprotein which is containing 23 to 28 percentage of sugar and consists of two peptide chains and both uh, the chain alpha chains with the 92 amino acid is common for FSH as well as LH but beta chain is different for FSH it is uh, 111 amino acid and in LH 121 amino acid. Now coming to the regulation of uh, release of gonadotropin hormone from the anterior pituitary the release of uh, gonadotropin like FSH and LH from the anterior pituitary is under the control of hypothalamus. So whenever is there is any deficiency of SH and LH, hypothalamus will release an hormone which is known as GnRH or gonadotropin releasing hormone. Due to the effect of GnRH, this GnRH will stimulate the anterior pituitary and anterior pituitary will release FSH and LH. Now this FSH and LH will act on the gonads or reproductive system in both male and female and it will stimulate the secretion of different hormones like testosterone, estrogen and progesterone. Now if there is any increased secretion of testosterone or estrogen or progesterone level in our body, it will negatively inhibit the anterior pituitary and it will stop the release of FSH and LH or the excess of testosterone, estrogen or progesterone level in the body also will negatively inhibit the hypothalamus and hypothalamus will inhibit the release of GnRH thereby anterior pituitary will not uh, release FSH and LH. So this is the uh, common mechanism of regulation of SH and FSH as well as LH in our body. Now coming to the actions, first we can discuss about the follicular stimulating hormone FSH. In female, FSH will stimulate the follicular growth and development of ovum and secretion of estrogen by ovary. In male, FSH will support the spermatogenesis, trophic influence on seminiferous tubules and usually the ovarian and testicular atrophy will occur in the absence of SHS, FSH. So that is the actions of follicular stimulating hormone both in male and female. Now coming to the luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone have different action in female as well as male. In female, it will produce a pre-ovulatory swelling of ripe uh, graphene follicles. And also it will trigger the ovulation followed by luteinization of ruptured follicles and sustain corpus luteum till the next menstrual cycle. And also it will uh, regulate the ovarian secretion of female sex hormone like progesterone occur only under the influence of uh, this luteinizing hormone. In male, luteinizing hormone will stimulate the testosterone secretion by interstitial cells of testis and which is designated uh, interstitial cell stimulate the hormone uh, hormones interstitial cell stimulating hormone which is known as ICSH. So these are the actions of luteinizing hormone. Now what are the different pathological involvements of this gonadotropin both FSH and LH. 
optimum level of FSH and LH in our body is required for the uh, normal uh, working of our body. So, if there is any disturbance of gonadotropin, maybe FSH or LH secretion from the pituitary may responsible for the delayed puberty or precious or early puberty both in boys as well as girls. And inadequate gonadotropin secretion, if there is any uh, de deficiency in gonadotropic secretion, it may cause amnoria and sterility in women. So, they cannot be uh, get pregnant if they are uh, with inadequate gonadotropin FSH or LH release. Now, uh, in male, it may cause uh, inadequate uh, growth gonadotropin release may grow, uh, cause oligospemia, impotence and infertility also. If there is any excess production of gonadotropin like FSH and LH in adult women may cause polycystic ovaries. So, these are the pathological involvement of FSH and LH in our body. Now, coming to the uh, uh, preparation which are used in case of deficiency of FSH and LH. There are different type of uh, marketed preparation in our uh, market like menotropin which is a preparation of FSH and LH which is prepared a preparation obtained from the urine of menopause woman. Then urofolitropin or menotropin this is a pure form of FSH which is preferred over the combined FSH preparation for the induction of ovulation in the woman with the polycystic ovaries, ovarian disease. It is claimed to be improve the chance of chance of obtaining good quality of ova for in vitro fertilization. And another preparation is human chorionic gonadotropin HCG, which is derived from the urine of pregnant woman, which is used as an uh, FSH and LH preparation. Then another one is folytropin alpha and folytropin beta, which is a recombinant human follicular stimulating hormone. Then lutropin, which is a recombinant uh, uh, Lutilizing hormone and choreogonadotropin alpha, which is an recombinant HCG human uh, chorionic uh, gonadotropin preparation. So, these are the different preparations which are used for the deficiency of uh, gonadotropin. Now, coming to the uh, ADR of gonadotropin like FSH and LH, which are used in case of uh, deficiency. Uh, it may cause ovarian hyperstimulation. So, it, there will be a chance for polycystic ovary, pain in, opta, pain in lower abdomen, even ovarian bleeding and shock can occur in female. Then, uh, precious puberty, if you are using excess of FSH and LH, it may cause uh, early uh, puberty, which is a uh, risk when uh, given to the children. And some allergic reaction may occur and skin and tests are advised before using LH and FSH preparations. Then hormone dependent malignancy like prostate and breast cancer may uh, occur due to the use of excess of FSH and LH and other side effects are edema, headache and mood changes. Now coming to the uses, it is mainly used for the treatment of amnoria as well as infertility. Infertility means uh, unable to fertilize during uh, uh, the ovum and the sperm and amnuria is the absence of uh, ovulation. So, uh, FSH and LH can be used for the treatment of amnuria and infertility and also for hypogonadotropic hypogonadism in male which is manifesting as delayed puberty or defective spermatogenesis and this condition may lead to oligospemia and male sterility. So, FSH and LH can be used for the treatment of oligospemia as well as male sterility. Then cryptokidism which is the uh, testis failure to descend from the abdomen, which can be induced by androgen whose production is stimulated by luteinizing hormone. And this FSH and LH preparation is also can be used in case of in vitro fertilization. Now, coming to the some drugs which will act on the uh, gonadotropin release, gonadotropin releasing hormone like uh, gonadotropin, 
It is a synthetic gonadotropin releasing hormone injected IV which will induce prompt release of LH and FSH from the pituitary gland followed by elevation of gonadal steroid level. It have short uh, plasma half life 4 to 8 minutes due to rapid systemic degradation and which are mainly used for the testing uh, of pituitary gonadal axis in male as well as female hypogonadism. Now coming to another drugs which will act on uh, gonadotropin release that is supraactive or long acting gonadotropin release agonist like uh, nepharaline which is a long acting gonadotropin releasing hormone agonist which is uh, 150 times more potent uh, than the uh, gonadotropin which is used as an intras nasal spray with bioavailability of only 4 to 5 percentage. And this is mainly used for the in vitro fertilization or assisted reproduction, then uh, uterine fibroid, endometrosis, central creatures puberties, and it may cause different adverse -like reactions like hot flashes, loss of libido, vaginal dryness, osteoporosis, and emotional liability. And other uh, supraactive long acting gonadotropin releasing hormone agonist are gosrelins, triptorelins and leuprolid. So these are the some examples of gonadotropin releasing hormone. Coming to the gonadotropin releasing antagonist which is a long acting gonadotropin release antagonist. So by using this one we will we can inhibit the gonadotropin secretion uh, without causing initial stimulation and some drugs are generalix and citorelix. Uh, these are some examples of uh, GnRH antagonist. So that is all about the uh, gonadotropin like FSH and LH which is released from the anterior pituitary hormones. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.